Hey guys, welcome to third grade, chapter eight, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so first you need to understand that any number that's a fraction over itself, so six over six, that's equal to one, okay? And that's whether it's one over one, 10 over 10, 20 over 20, 100 over 100. Any number over itself is equal to one. Doesn't matter if it's a million over a million, it's equal to one. Okay, so the only number on this number line that's going to be equal to 1 is a 6 over 6. Okay, that's the only number that's equal to 1 because it's a 6 over 6. It's the same number over itself. Okay, so this one is equal. This one, two different numbers, not equal. Okay, all right. Now, we're going to go down. And it says, each shape is one whole, write a fraction greater than one for the parts that are shaded. So, we obviously have two holes, okay, but we have one, two, three, four equal pieces. So our denominator is four, okay? I'm sorry, my bad, Miss Lee is bad. Okay, let's try that again. What they're doing is they're doing, each one has two pieces. How many half pieces do I have? I have one, two, three, four. I have four halves, okay? All right, let's try that one more time without Miss Leah messing up, okay? So, on this one, I have, each one is cut up into three pieces, okay? How many thirds do I have colored in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? When the top number is bigger than the bottom number, we call that an improper fraction. Okay? It's just that the top is bigger than the bottom, so it's improper. Okay? We're going to try this next one. Okay? We have... They're cut up into fours, so our denominator is going to be fours, okay? How many fours do I have? I have four, eight, twelve, okay? Now, I'm going to show you why that's equal to three without doing the picture, okay? Because all a fraction really is, is division, okay? So, if I did twelve and I divided it by three, well, when I do my multiples of three, I have three, six, nine, 12. There's my 12, so I did one, two, three, four. Okay, so when I did my division, I did four, right? Four, okay? I cut it up into fourths, okay? So, when I did, when I have a denominator of four, and I put it into 12, okay, when I do my, okay, there's my 12, I went one, two, three times, three, three, okay, let's try that again with, let's do number five that way, okay, oh, sorry, I did number five that way, okay, so three pieces, I had four circles, four, okay, all right, so, all right, you guys go ahead and try to do number seven, we're going to go down and do number eight, okay, Rachel jogged along a trail that was a quarter of a mile long, one fourth of a mile long, she jogged along the trail eight times, how many miles did Rachel jog? Well, that would be eight over four. Well, four goes into eight two times, so two miles, okay? Okay, when we are when we are dividing fractions, we tend to say, let's see, we have eight over four, so we tend to say tip, trap, divide. 
So now 4 goes into 8, 2 times, 2 miles. Okay? Okay. All right. John ran around the track that was 1 eighth of a mile long. He ran around the track 24 times. So instead of the 1 eighth, it's going to put 24 over 8. Okay. So when we do tip, trap, divide, 8 goes into 24 three times. 3 miles. Okay. Let's go over onto the back where you guys are going to try the lesson check just like always. Okay. And we're going to go down and do spiral review. It says Tara has 598 pennies and 231 nickels. How many pennies and nickels does she have? So it's just how many coins, not how much they're worth. Okay. So 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12, carry that 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. 829 coins. I don't want to write out pennies and nickels, so we're going to say coins. Okay. Dylan read 6 books. Kylie read double the number of books that Dylan read. Okay. So 6, and when you double something, you multiply it by 2. Well, 6 times 2 is... 12 books. Make sure we're labeling, guys. Okay. Alyssa divides a granola bar into halves. So she cut them in half. Okay. How many equal parts are there? Well, when you cut a sandwich in half, you have two equal parts. Okay. There are four students in each small reading group. If there are 24 students in all, so 24 divided by 4, how many reading groups are there? Well, 4 times what is 24? Well, 6 times 4 is 24. So 6 groups. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 8.6. Come on back for 8.7. See you soon.